What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel again. And today we're going to review a top hatch. It is a 2008 Suzuki Swift Sport. It is a legitimate hot hatch as it is driver focused, performance oriented and not so practical hot hatch. And in Malaysia, only white and yellow is available for Swift Sport. And this car is actually a 4 speed automatic. You can tell right away if the car is a Swift Sport. The front of the car is completely redesigned with a new bumper, a more aggressive bumper. The side of the car features a bigger 16 inch wheel and lowered spring. However, the lowering of the car is not very obvious due to the larger wheel. And it also features a 4 disc brake instead of 2. For the rear end of the car, the design is totally different. From the spoiler to the tail lamp to the bumper, all are different. Normal Swift features a 1.3 and 1.5 engine, but for this one, it's a 1.6 M16A. The engine is restroked with higher lift cam, a forged piston, different throttle body, and different valve spring. It is now producing 92 kilowatts and 148 Nm of torque, which is 17 more horsepower and 15 more torques than the normal 1.5 Swift. On top of that, it also has different manual transmission, free flow exhaust, and more stiffer port suspension. Then for the front interior, the interior is actually very normal. Like any other hot hatch, it only features red contrast. And this one has a semi bucket seat. And the semi bucket seat is actually quite comfort. It's not very hard, it's very comfort and they hug you in place. The, the back of the car is quite comfortable. It's quite soft. The seat is quite soft and I have a lot of headroom and some leg room also. Then we talk about the boot of the car. The car is so dirty like my car because of the rain. The trunk design is actually very smart. Now it has a limited trunk space, but once you open this thing, you got tons of trunk space. And this thing is actually used for managing your, your trunk storage compartment. Comment in the comment section below. What do you think about this design? Before we jump in the car, we do some quick tests like, like we always do. We have our camera mounted here and I just find the car is not very practical as I can I can't store my other things and well it's a driver focused car it's not a everyday city shopping car and let's take this for a drive Don't forget your seatbelt. Alright, the ride on this car is actually quite sporty. Quite sporty. Is too Ooh. <laughs> Alright, the responsive of the brake is actually very. The brake is actually very responsive. This is like a little bit of. Tapping will make it into a hard braking. It is very track focused. There's a car doing an illegal U turn here. The ride on this car is actually very sporty. You can feel every, every feedback of the road because of the more sporty, stiffer suspension. And 
about the comfortness it's not very comfort but if you are a person who enjoy sports car who enjoy a sport driving experience you will like this suspension and and actually it's more comfortable than Honda City as well you can check the my review on the Honda City here and the throttle response is, is actually very responsive as well as the brake a, a simple tap of a throttle and a brake you can feel it right away and it is very impressive especially the car is the car is throttled electronically it's not by mechanical string steel string and about the and about the handling it is very responsive also but the steering is quite heavy because it is a sport car and I'm now cruising like 80 and I, I don't feel any unstable of the car and we'll do a U-turn here at this roundabout and then we'll ask and we'll ask the owner to do some launching and 0 to 100 yeah let's be Harder than brakes. My my audience will want to ask you, how is the fuel economy of this car? I mean, like how many kilometer per liter can this car achieve? For this car, uh, I've been driving uh, quite lately, a lot lately, uh, such as in town, highways or everywhere. But the average kilometers per litre I could get is 11.1 kilometers per litre. Alright, so there you have it. It's a, it's a review of Suzuki 6 Sport. And if you have any question, feel free to ask them below in the comment section. And if you like this video, Please press the thumbs up button and share it to your friends. And subscribe to me as well. And I'll see you in the next video next week.